Hi there, welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Well, it's time to take the dominator bed off so we can turn this into our new trailer hauler. Last night, seat cover and I undid all the wiring. So that's all done. And what we have left is the fuel filler neck and the mounts that hold the box on. So now we'll take the fuel filler neck off. Let's see if we can pull this away and put the cap back in so we don't get any dirt or crap in there. All right, now we got to deal with some mounting bolts. Looks like we got a little bit of rust to deal with. I'm not going to torch the bolts off just yet. We're going to heat them up first and see if we can take them out. There's one. Well, I only got two of them out. Having trouble with a couple more in the back here. You know what? I give up. We're gonna, just going to cut them. Well, we'll see if these come apart. Doesn't look good. Well, looks like we're going to have to warm that up too. Plastic in the lock nuts. Keeps burning. There we go. Well, I think we got everything unhooked. Now we got to lift it off. I'm, uh, I'm hoping we can lift it off with the Bobcat and uh, I can maneuver it off of the truck. We'll give it a try. <laughs> well, it looks like this way it's too heavy for the Bobcat. We're going to have to figure something else out. Well, seeing as the Bobcat couldn't quite handle the whole box, we're going to lift the front with the wrecker and the back with the Bobcat and drive the truck out from underneath it.
rail with the bed off and the bare frame rails, a little bit of scale on them. Now's the time to clean it up, throw some paint on. coat of paint looks pretty good we'll let it dry overnight and uh, hopefully we can get to bed on tomorrow well paint's dry time to put the new flatbed on I think the bobcat will handle the flatbed okay Going over here. Okay, hang on then. Come forward. Just trying to, yeah. And then my filler neck don't match either. I wonder if you could pick it up, if I could push it over just enough. Well, yeah, oh, let's lift up just a so hair and let me get on the other side. Okay. Can I go down? Oh. Oh, that's almost perfect. Yeah. yeah. I think it's got to come back a little bit, tool in the lineup. Oh, yeah, that's that's real right cool. there. Right. And so you're you're almost there. Go right. look at the. If no, you, that's, that's you fine. I, I, I can do it when the lineup comes. Well, we got it set on there. Now it looks like we got to drill a bunch of holes and bolt it on. I'm not really looking forward to that, but it's got to be done.
several broken drill bits we finally got the bed mounted uh, we still have a few other things to do uh, little details like uh, plugging in the wiring harness uh, which is really simple because uh, the harness on the bed uh, it's got the same plug in as the uh, harness on the truck they'll just connect together we'll be done with that we got to do the fuel filler neck and of course DOT says we got to put mud flaps on this but it's late, it's Sunday night, and uh, I gotta get up and go to my regular job in the morning. So we're gonna call quits for tonight. When we get it done, I'll give you a walk around and uh, we'll hook it up to the trailer and see how it looks. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, and maybe we'll see you in the woods. <laughs>